Hello, my name is Sally Ibbotson and I'm a Shiatsu practitioner and a Qigong teacher here in London, UK. I'm also proud and honoured to be a student of the Tara approach under the founder of the Tara approach, Dr. Stephanie Mines. Dr. Mines is based in the US and is known globally for her books, one of which is We Are All in Shock. A survivor of childhood trauma herself, and now a neuropsychologist specialising in that same subject, shock and trauma. Dr. Stephanie Mines set up the Tara approach so that ordinary folk and practitioners alike could be empowered to heal themselves, their families, and whole communities of shock and trauma. Clinically tested, it's an effective tool that anyone can learn to have a beneficial effect on those around them. Details of the Tara approach can be found at the end of this video. Passionate as I am about the effects of climate change on our planet, Dr. Mines has convened a conference in Scotland in April 2019 at the Fintorn Foundation. And again, details of the venue and of the conference, CCC19 as it's known, those initials stand for Climate Change and Consciousness. Those details can all be found at the end of the video. Part of that conference will be looking at sustainable health care. In parts of the world that are already experiencing climate chaos, it's quite obvious that the usual routes to health care become quickly overwhelmed. We need self-help tools so we can affect healing quickly and effectively for our families and for our communities. In this series of video blogs, which will be offered monthly in the run up to CC19, I will be offering tasters of sustainable healthcare techniques. That could be self-massage, it could be yoga or qigong, and indeed it could be a technique from the Tara approach. We would be wise to learn and practice such techniques now so that we can affect healing for our communities in the future. Thank you. Hello. This is a morning warm-up routine, a self-massage routine. The first part is to rub the hands together like so. But we're not just rubbing the hands as we would do when we wash them, perhaps a little unconsciously. We're doing this slowly and deliberately, feeling as many sensations as we can. There are many crisscrosses of nerves, blood vessels and energetic meridians in the palms of the hands and they feed back into the brain and the central nervous system. So the more slowly and deliberately we do this massage, the more the message that we have time, that we can slow down, that there is no risk, is got across to our whole body and mind. We can pay some attention to the landscape of the body and I'll be introducing some Chinese names for, for the points that we're going to work on. So that in the very base uh, centre of the palm of the hands is Palace of Toil. Palace of Toil. And then between the thumb and the index finger is Joining Valley. Particularly good places to focus our attention. Each of the fingers, studies of musicians have found, communicates with a slightly different part of the brain. And so squeezing each digit slowly and deliberately, really paying attention to the sensations and the subtleties of the different sensations in each finger can give us a real sense of calm that lasts for the day.
The breathing is slow and rhythmic. And if you can direct the breath to the lower belly, once again, nerves are stimulated in the base of the spine. But send message, send a message to the brain and central nervous system that we can set down our alert for a little while. We can relax and enjoy the bodily sensations that are available to us. And equally as we do this, accepting any emotions or thoughts that come along, just accepting, maybe there's a slight irritation, I need to get on with my day, etc. Just watching that happen, stepping back from our normal involvement in thought. Let's go for the wrists now, so gently massaging the wrists, and in particular points above the back and the front wrist crease, just a little bit about an inch up, uh, inner and outer gate, inner and outer gate, stimulating the yin and the yang of the body, encouraging balance, and then a general wrist rub, warming up. And to the other side. And then on up to the elbows and the thumb side of the elbow crease, a point called pubic marsh. Good for expelling phlegm from the lungs in the morning particularly for us London, UK dwellers. Really explore the sensations there. Sometimes a little bit of tenderness there. And then warm the whole joint up. And the other side. The fingers are on the bone at the back, like so. And it's the thumb that's rubbing into cubit marsh on the lung channel in Chinese medicine. Slowly massaging the elbow. Let's wake up the stomach. So making a loosely clenched fist with the two hands and putting it at the solar plexus. Turtle dovetail is the name of this place. It's where the stomach is. And this encourages descending of food. We're just going to do it for um, a moment. But if there is problems with uh, descent of food, acid reflux, etc. Then holding the hands in this fashion and breathing gently will encourage descent. Let's tone up the liver. So one hand on the lower rib cage, two liver points there, cedar wood gate and cyclic gate, all very poetic names. And then three fingers just slightly at the edge of the rib cage there, the base, in and slightly up, working on the valve that empties toxins from the liver into the large intestine. Letting the body know that you're listening to it at this time. Time to come home to the body. Let's work on the knees now, gently massaging both knees. Feeling the different sensation there. And then at the back of the wrist crease there, bend in the middle is the name of that point, the back centre of the wrist crease. And if you put your head forward, so you make a triangle between the knees and the head, very good for clearing the head, 
ready for the day. And then a point on the outside and just below the knees. For our purposes, we don't need to be too specific. This is called three leg or three foot or third foot. It energizes the whole body, tonifying for the whole body. Next, we work on the feet. Very important, as important as the as the hands, and notice that I'm using one foot to massage the other. So there's that bony bit at the base of the big toe that's very good for massaging the instep of the other foot. Really enjoy this warming up. Let's go through some points. So on the inside of the ankle there, at the back, between the Achilles tendon and the ankle, is Great Ravine, very good for chronic lower back pain or kidney trouble. On the other side, opposite, it is a point called Kunlan Mountains. So as we move into the legs, the landscape of the body is described very poetically. At the bottom here is Bubbling Spring, in the, in the centre third, in the centre of the foot, and then towards the toes, so two thirds of the way from the heel to the tips of the toes just behind the ball of the foot there. And then the highest point of the front of the foot, Great Yang. And then over to the little toe and between the little toe and the fourth toe and then back towards the ankle a little bit. Again, no need to be too specific. A point called Falling Tears. Getting round the back again. And then the same on the other side. The feet as well as the hands have many crisscrosses of blood, blood vessels, nerves, meridians, and so have the potential to feed back any messages that we would like to give ourselves of self-love and relaxation and happiness and gratitude as well. Placing both feet on the, on the floor or if you're outside on the ground and bending forward if it's possible for you and just taking hold of the big toe, in fact taking hold of all the toes to just stretch the lower back and the kidney area out. I like to just hold my hands, palm to sky, perhaps fingers interlocked, and just breathe a few times to expel carbon dioxide and take in extra oxygen without any effort just by being in this position and breathing, effectively detoxing the lungs. Taking the hands down, the hands should be, should be warm by now, but if they need another bit of a warm up, then go ahead. and taking them around the back of the waist and giving the kidneys a bit of a rub to finish off. Thank you.